Hello everyone, my name is Megan Ellsworth here at MetalCoffeeShop.com and I am here with David Stoller from S5 and uh, one of our amazing influencers for 2024 and we're going to be talking about competitive advantage, all sorts of good stuff for the January 2024 topic. So hi David, how are you? I am doing great Megan, how are you? Fresh back from IRE? Yes, freshly back from Irie. Good to be home. <laughs> um, I'm excited to hear what you have to say for this month's topic. And um, that is, what strategies worked to help you stay competitive while still profitable last year that you plan to carry over into 2024? Megan, thanks so much for having us again. I'm David with yeah. S5. Um, so, you know, I hate to sound so simplistic, but it's really sales 101. And 2023 and I think 2024 are really going to prove that, that you have to have a strategy, a sales process and be flexible. And the reason yeah. I say 2023, 2023 um, and 2024, I think really are going to be indicative of that is that S5 plays in both the metal end and the solar end, and we play in other verticals as well. So you really need to understand whatever market you're in, you really need to understand the markets you're in, what was driving those markets, what is currently driving those markets, and what your crystal ball, what is going to drive those markets tomorrow. And that goes right into knowing your customers. Um, just because you know your customers today doesn't mean they're going to be doing the same things tomorrow. And that goes into knowing the markets and knowing your customers. So for us, it's all about having a very flexible strategy, understanding our, our place in the market and where things might be going. And a good example of that for, for S5 was the solar market, right? Um, it's been gangbusters. Everybody's talking about how it's been gangbusters. And if you look at last year, if you looked at just the numbers, it was gangbuster, right? But it wasn't awesome. gangbusters for residential and commercial. It was gangbusters for utility scale. So, again, understanding some of those nuances in whatever yeah. industry and verticals you play in, I think, is absolutely critical. Um, and understanding the co complexities there, as I just gave that example, right? So, yeah. you know, for, for the solar end, right, which is supposed to really drive a lot of people's business, Going forward, I think you have to be careful because residential solar um, is expected to decline in 2024 by 12%. Um, I think overall, wow. um, rooftop, I think, was down last year. Um, uh, net metering in California is really affecting that. So even though metal roofing numbers might be up and those numbers look strong, I think there's more that companies need to look into. And so that's what we did, Megan. Um, and then we were able to adjust accordingly on what customers we called on by knowing our customers. So, you know, maybe you change from the, from the residential solar market to the commercial market, for example. Yeah. Those types of things. Or, or commercial yeah. and industrial, C&I. Yeah. Wow. It's really shocking that residential is going to go down 12%. I feel like solar has just been on this rise, so I, I hope that it, it picks back up. Yeah, and, and again, you, there's various things affecting that, right? So you have the ITC credit, right. which is helping the commercial end, but you yeah. have net metering laws that are hurting residential. You have high yeah. interest rates that's hurting residential. A lot of companies, when a lot of contractors went out of business last year, a lot of some fairly decent sized companies, um, players went, went wow. under and filed for bankruptcy. So um, I think it's staying on top of trends and I would say staying involved in organizations like even this, even just chatting with Roofers Coffee Shop, which S5 I think does on a fairly regular basis, not necessarily myself, but somebody within the company and staying involved in the trade organizations where you play really are gonna help you be flexible, adaptable, and, and you can change quickly and pivot quickly if you need to. So have a plan, have a strategy, have a sales process, but don't be afraid to change that strategy when and if needed. Absolutely. Well said. That's great advice, Dave. Um, and with trade organizations, I couldn't agree more. I just saw Sean, Dustin, and Rob at the MCA winter meetings and at IRE. So um, you guys are always so involved. So it's always good to see you there.
Well, and that benefits us because it, it helps yeah. keep our finger on the pulse of the trends that are going on. And we do the same in yeah. solar. Um, we're very involved. So that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, Dave, I will be chatting with you next month or the month after, and I look forward to our next conversation. Thank you so very much, Megan, and thanks for all that Roofer Coffee Shop does. Awesome. Absolutely. We are here to help, and um, I'll see you next month. Thanks. See you.